So we wanted to give everyone a few quick tips in response to some of the questions we've been seeing about our coloring book SVG series. So one of the first things that we always get questions about or have gotten a lot of questions or comments about is where do they download the applications? We strongly want to recommend that you only download the applications from the official websites. I'll put the links in the video and in the box below. Only go to www.inkscape.org for Inkscape or www.gimp.org for the GIMP graphic application. If you get it from other places, and a couple of our viewers have, they've gotten infected with viruses. So just a few other safe computing tips. Don't ever install toolbars. If a website's asking you to install a toolbar or another application to access things, they probably don't have your best interests in mind. They're either using you to make more money advertising or worse, they're installing malware on your computer. So malware, another word for virus. Plus, all those toolbars are just gonna slow down your computer even more. So we really recommend avoiding them. Right. Anytime you're getting a picture, if you're just going through a Google search, and I recommend going to the Google search and doing images, and if you do search tools, you can narrow it down to line drawings or clip art. Those would be great for our SVG tutorials. Right. And usually clicking through those, if you click on it and say view image, that way you're sure that you're getting directly to the image. If you're downloading a picture, no one should ask you to install a toolbar or any other piece of software just to get the picture. Yeah, if they do that, they really just went into your computer to steal your information or give you advertising that you don't really want to begin with. So some tips for using Inkscape. Before you create a path outline, and I think I did mention this, but then when I think about it, I'm not sure, so I thought we should throw it in with the tips is when you open your bitmap image or your graphic image, make sure you select that graphic image before you go to path to do the outline. If you don't have anything selected, it's not going to create anything. The way that you know you have your graphic selected is there will be arrows around it in Inkscape. Right. So if you don't see arrows <laughs> around your graphic, you don't have it selected. Do that before you do your path outline. So our last tip for today is when you're going through and you're coloring your graphic, you might want to change your outline from black to another color. I often change it to the bright purple. That way you can see the areas that were maybe hidden by the other black because it was black on top of black. You can see what images you still have to exclude to punch through to the bottom layer or the layer underneath. It makes it a lot easier. So all you need to do is select the black outline and change the color on the graphic bar below that has all the colors in it. And just pick something that's different. It'll help a lot. So we just want to put out some quick tips because the videos have been really popular and those are just some of the questions we've been seeing. If you have more questions, let us know in the comments to this video or on our website. Or send us an email at craftsby2 at gmail.com. So don't forget to subscribe so you can see the next thrilling installment of our coloring book SVG tutorials. Right where Ken will be doing it. And he does some pretty cool stuff. That's why I said it was exciting. Oh. If I'm doing it. Oh. Uh... 
So until next week, or probably sooner, we'll see you guys later. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.